Pakistan. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, here is still morning in Boston, jumping in from MIT School of Architecture and Planning and Stoss Landscape Urbanism to talk about a very novel uh, project in the city uh, regarding its newly announced um, forest plan. So uh, Boston is a uh, really renowned for its green infrastructure projects done in the 19th century by Frederick Olmsted uh, in regard to the Emerald Necklace, but also Charles Elliott with the Metropolitan Park System. In the last five years, uh, Boston has been taking care of coastal resilience, and it is only in the last year that it has started the urban forest plan. Uh, very interesting for the conversation today after Cambridge and Brookline, much smaller cities, by, but rich ones uh, are already done with those projects. So Amy, uh, I would like to start asking, uh, it's really lucky to have the mind behind this uh, project today with us. And I would like to ask Amy, um, what are the, um, in this idea of the challenges uh, for going green, which are the, the basis of your forest plant? Uh, which barriers did you envision for it to succeed? And just to end, uh, which strategies are, your, are you mobilizing to overcome them? Great, thanks Lorena. So in the forest plan, really the, the kind of basis of the plan from the beginning has been around um, marrying up issues of resiliency with social vulnerability and really seeking to um, try to make change in some of the historic uh, marginalization and you know kind of inequity within the city. So uh, as you can see here, one of the things that we'll be doing is really trying to analyze the historic patterns of urbanization and um, opportunity within the city uh, and against kind of different markers of social vulnerability. So communities of color is one of those. And you can kind of see here in the map how those track against areas of uh, higher and lower canopy. So we'll be looking at a lot of different, these different kinds of markers and really seeking through the plan to find opportunities for equity to be the driver for what, what we implement, where we implement, and you know, what the recommendations of the plan are. One of the ways that we're doing this is through the development of this community advisory board. And the advisory board being really centered around uh, what we're calling the equity council. So the equity council is made up of leaders in the community from different grassroots organizations who don't commonly have their voice heard in these kinds of planning projects. And then they'll be in direct conversation with us and with our client, the Parks Department, as well as a larger group of city um, officials you know, who do maintenance, management, visioning, all these types of things. One of the biggest barriers, let's say there's two, one will be management and maintenance and the fact that the city only has one arborist. Uh, I think now actually they just have hired a second. So, they have a lot of work to do and they have over 40,000 street trees alone to be um, taken care of. And then the second is the regional and interdisciplinary nature of these kinds of resiliency projects and generally going green in, in, you know, in general, that is a multidisciplinary, um, multi-scalar problem or you know, challenge. And so here we're looking at another project we're doing with the parks department at Moakley Park where it's a, um, a, a you know, flood pathway. And we're really trying to develop a plan that re-envisions the park, increases the canopy in the park, and also implements coastal flooding. And the challenge there is that while the parks department owns the site, state, there is state ownership all around it. There's private development all around it. And then there's also um, federal regulations and things like the Army Corps that all need to be coordinated together. So in these regional um, plans, you know, it's really this kind of desire and need for collaborative um, effort that has a major impact um, both regionally, but really scales down and kind of impacts what the individual at the local level experiences. Thank you so much, Amy. Um, 
I wish all the luck to the project. I think that it is uh, armor to succeed. We know about the challenges, but hopefully we will be covered for, by more trees in the near future in Boston. Thank you so much. Great, thank you.